Hi folks, good afternoon. Uh, this is Cracker321. Boom. Uh, welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, definitely welcome back. Um, my tag on YouTube is Cracker321. All my social media is listed in any video you come across on my channel below. Um, looks like Sean Diddy Combs is under suicide watch and um, being held in the um, Metropolitan Detention Center, the same place where Jeffrey Epstein was being held and where he was killed. What are we beginning to see here? I don't know. There's so much stuff coming out about Diddy and all his extracurricular activities you could make one hell of a movie out of it and guaranteed one day that somebody will some studio will yeah let's hit play disgrace music mogul sean diddy combs will be spending his first weekend behind bars at the infamous metropolitan detention center in brooklyn this as his lawyers attempt to get him free on bail prosecutors are now building a case against some of his alleged accomplices accomplices uh, eyewitness news anchor Mike Barza. Following developments and I think he thought he was going to go Michael. free. How about that, Bill and Lauren? Prosecutors believe there were several people in Diddy's inner circle who helped him carry out these alleged crimes. And while investigators are focusing in on his current entourage, a former rapper who used to hang with Diddy is now also speaking out. Before politician Moses Shine Barrow entered politics in his native Belize, this is someone that destroyed my life. He was a rapper oh. who had a mentor named Sean Diddy Combs. Barrow now serves as opposition leader in Belize's House of Representatives, but back in the late 1990s, he was on Diddy's bad boy oh. record label. He was also there with Diddy and Diddy's girlfriend, Jennifer Lopez, at the time at that nightclub shooting in Times Square in 1999. All were arrested. J-Lo was released. Diddy later acquitted of weapons charges. But Barrow was convicted and sentenced to 10 years in prison. Oh, I was and he turned around and called witnesses to testify against me. And wow. he contributed, he pretty much sent me to prison. Barrow was released in 2009 and deported to Belize. He insists that he never took part in any of Diddy's alleged freak-offs. Wow. Parties where people were forced into sex acts with male prostitutes. I have nothing to do with Sean Combs' personal life, no interaction. That level, everything was strictly on a professional level. Prosecutors believe Diddy did help setting up the encounters. He used his business and employees of that business and other close associates to get his way. Those individuals Sick. allegedly included high-ranking supervisors in the business, personal assistants, security staff, and household staff. And so now the U.S. Attorney is investigating if anyone close to Diddy should be charged in all of this. As for that federal jail facility where Diddy is currently being held in isolation, this infamous building has also housed other high-profile inmates, including R. Kelly, Elaine Maxwell, and cryptocurrency fraudster Sam bankman fried Lauren? Yeah, and you forgot to mention, but you probably didn't forget to mention Jeffrey Epstein. Hello. Oh, did, did he? The man known as Sean Combs, a.k.a. Diddy, a.k.a. Love, his empire is going to fall. The question is, is how far he's going to go with it. He has a lot of incriminating evidence against a lot of people. I just read today, even the couple slash actors, Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis, is somehow could be wrapped up in some of those after parties too. Do you know how many celebrities probably engaged in this? This is Jeffrey Epstein all over again. 
All that money, all that power, all that fame, and this is what you did with it. In my personal opinion, he's the modern day version of Caligula. And for anyone who doesn't know what that word is, it's not it's not a racist word. It's not to put down a black artist. It's actually a Roman character. Just look it up online and you'll see why I'm referring him to that. This is no words describe this anymore. No words. Well, um, if you're a subscriber, hit the bell icon, select all. It just lets you know when new material is uploaded to the channel. If you're new to the channel, listen. Subscribe. I'm not asking for money. Got no Patreon. Nothing. Like a video. Um, leave a comment. If you come across this video on my other social media, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, take a visit over to my channel. Maybe like the video there. It does help. Uh, thanks to everyone who has subscribed, who is a subscriber. And I'll see you in the next one, which will be real soon. Peace.